I like how this episode is called Two Miracles. Like, I can't wait to see these miracles. Don't get me wrong. But it's two miracles for you guys, too. Because this episode and the next episode, the full length is available for free for you guys. <laughs> What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius. Sorry for that little cringy intro. I did want to let you guys know, though, that, you know, normally it's at the beginning and last episode of every season of every anime we watch. This, with Black Clover, it's the first and last episode of every opening. And this happens to be the last episode of opening, I have it written down, eight. And we're going into opening nine. So that is true. Check the top of the description for the full length videos. If you guys do enjoy that, consider keeping that for the future. Check out the Patreon where that is always available for you guys. I'm super excited, especially ending it off with Nash being the big ass grown man that he is and trying to stop Sister Lily and everyone else from being injured. Only for Asta, you know, to come in and be proud of him and, and save the day, which I love. I love when heroes do that, um, especially it being Hodge in their hometown. We have the rest of the uh, royal knights i gotta call them royal knights you know they're a little higher than just normal magic knights uh heading off towards the capital because havoc is being wrecked and so i gotta find out what happens i am very excited i'm gonna shorten condense down the plugs because i already said the patreon one at the beginning don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel follow all the social medias instagram twitch tiktok and twitter all the dapper darius much appreciated let's hop into this black clover episode 102 Two miracles. Let's do this. Oh, that moment is so dope. I had to make up my thumbnail. All right, it's going to be the last time we hear this opening. So I say we listen to it again. Why not? Now, I love I love rewatching openings with context, you know? This opening is actually a banger. I can't even lie. Such a good opening. It really is so good. This is gonna be a good a good couple episodes, I can tell. Those guys are 100% dead. That is horrible. Bro. I wish I can go back to watch on the first episode. I literally got goosebumps right now. I still remember this like it was yesterday. He also made it into the Magic Knights. <laughs> When's he coming home? He's not. I love how they just instantly assume Asa wouldn't make it. <laughs> That's all my boys. Asa and you know goats. Such good wholesome moments, you know. Come on. I know how much of a big deal it is for these for the Forsaken Realm and everything for for people to join the <laughs> the Magic Knights and everything. So again, that's so dope. Especially having more contacts with like Zara and Zora now, you know? It's so dope that they made it. Is this gonna be like a flashback recap episode? I'd be down. The inspired Magna. The young delinquent version, my boy. Ooh. That animation snapped on that episode. Ooh. I forgot. See, I completely forgot about how they beat him what was it grice was that his name i always forget it's either heath or grice i think it's heath such a strong attack asta is so dope from the jump his handwriting is pretty bad i won't lie first time meeting the wizard king they're like, who is this goober? Oh, man. Seeing Julius again, man. God damn, I'm gonna get teared up. I hate seeing this. I'm so pissed. He's the goat. He's the legend himself. God damn it. And that's power. You gotta be able to protect them. Eric, that that's why he's worked so hard. Won countless battles. 
And Asta and Yuno are both on their way. They're winning like crazy. He went through it. That was a very down time for my man Asta. A very, very, very long letter. He would never be able to do anything, yeah. God damn. His homies from the Black Bulls couldn't accept that as an answer. That was a good arc too, man. This was a great arc. Oh my, and then we had to fight Ladros, right? Oh my god, that moment was crazy. Ooh. Black Meteorite, such a dope name. I love his special moves, Black Meteorite, Black Bull Thrust. Look how dope he looks. Oh, this was one of my favorite moments, the Star Festival. Finally started to get acknowledged by the people. The merit that Julius has been talking about this whole time. Two new rising stars, 100%. Magnificent records. I remember I was heated at Seke when he did that. I was like, come on. And now having more context, like I said, with Zara. It's even crazier, you know, the things they've been able to accomplish and how amazing they are. He's like, we gotta prove to these guys that we're not we're not about that slander. We are the real deal. If you don't believe it from our records, we'll show you in person. Look at dope ass Bear Leona right there too. God damn it. Anyone? Oh, I said it already six times, but now Knowing the context of Zara and Julius and how he respected Zara so much, it makes so much sense how proud he would be of these two being peasants, you know, and making it this far, you know? I guess peasants aren't too bad. Maybe they are human. Like, Jesus Christ, some people, bro. Like, slowly but surely, we will be able to change the minds of, of this elitist society. That was a... That was a... I like that flashback. Recap. Shows all their motivations for being the Wizard King. Yes. Come on, get that anti-magic in there. Get rid of that poison. There's no way we're losing father right here. I'm just not gonna let that happen. Heck no, there's no way. He truly is. I know he's a father like in terms of the church, but he truly is their father. There's no way. Absolutely no way. Lick Sword came out at a time of need. What is Lick Sword's gonna be able to do? We all know the Demon Dweller and Slayer all have different powers. So, what does this one do? What was that little flash? That was like some Attack on Titan shit. Where you, ooh, okay. Oh my god, man. Are you serious? Well, that was a much needed recap and re showing us the resolve and the things they've gone through to get to this point, which I always appreciate only for one of our biggest supporters and biggest motivations to start dying right in front of us, which Asa says we cannot take anymore. So the sword that Licht has or that Licht had that went into Asa's uh, grimoire after their insane fight is now coming out. And um, when Lick said, that's not my grimoire anymore, someone commented like, and I haven't seen this before, so that's why like, I, I really didn't even 
take this into as as something that could happen into a possibility was that the, the his grimoire and subsequently the swords have chosen asta now like a new host since maybe lick's disappearance so that's why like they're Asta's now like they're not his any longer i thought he was just saying i've i've gone past I've grown past them i don't need them anymore or something along those lines but i'm very curious about all that very curious what this sword is able to do because we're not letting father die i know that i loved seeing julius in the flashback man he's a real one love seeing that recap and from where my boys started to where they are now it is literally insane and i need to watch this next episode right now so i'm about to hop into it if you guys enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to check out that patreon early access full length four episodes ahead uh don't forget to check out all the social medias instagram twitch tiktok twitter all of dapper darius um don't forget to drink some water be safe tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad peace out